We are trying to de-escalate the treatment in HPV positive patients and not in HPV negative because HPV positive patients behave in a different way. They have a better prognosis, they are more sensible to treatment, in particular to radiation and chemotherapy. So this is the reason why we would like to reduce the toxicities while maintaining high the bar of survival in this patient. As of today, de-escalation is not yet a reality. It's something that is promising for the future. But we are applying new concepts, trying to de-escalate treatment in order to reduce the toxicity to this kind of population. If I have to choose who is the best candidate to be de-escalated, I would choose according to three factors. Biomolecular factors, patient characteristics and disease characteristics. Biomolecular, we need the real HPV positive patient. P16 is not enough. We know that 10% of P16 positive patients are HPV negative. So couple P16 with HPV test. Second, patient characteristics. We need patient with a good performance status, good nutritional factors and nutritional status and maybe what we are learning is the fact that the patient who are smoking could not be the best candidates for this being escalated. Disease characteristics, we prefer disease that are in the lower stage of disease, so T4 or huge nodes in the neck are not the best candidate for the escalation because they have an increased risk of local regional relapse and distal metastasis. These are the criteria that I would follow to have the best choice of the patient. Let's start from the option not to follow to de-escalate. Substituting cisplatin with cetuximab is not a good choice. We have randomized trial telling us this. Apart from this, we have several possibilities. Use of induction chemotherapy to reduce the following local regional treatment. Use of surgery, transoral surgery, followed by reduced dose of radiation or using just one treatment modality. Use of chemoimmunotherapy before the treatment. So we have a lot of possibility that have been explored and are exploring several studies in this regard. But for the moment, we know that we cannot change the state of the art. So follow the, the usual way in which you treat patients. So if you use chemo red, you use chemo red with cisplatin, you cannot discard it for the moment. If you use surgery followed by chemo radiation, please follow the standard criteria for this, for this treatment. But for the future, it is important to enroll patient in trial so that we know for the next patient for tomorrow, how to best de the treatment with a safe and effective role.